We have random mega Pokemon as our starters, but we can't see them. We only get told a description from ChatGPT and have to make an educated guess on which mega we want. After eight rounds, we pick six megas to bring and build our team for a battle. All right, Tobin. We can I go first? Yes, you can. All right, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's take a look. It's a little rude. That's the first thing that you say on my video. Okay, so your left one uh, has a penis size of six inches. Uh, middle one is eight, and right one is two inches. So me, Frank, and you. And, uh, me, it's me, you, and then Frank, so. Okay. Okay, now I'll give you the description. Your first one, an aviator. It ablaze in hues of ember. This draconic luminary commands the skies with an inferno that mirrors the fever. <laughs> I forgot you You can't read that well. Fur, I've never heard this word in my life. Fervor wi within its wings. Okay, aviator, but it said fire. Yeah, all dragons have fire, technically. They all get flamethrower. That doesn't mean they're, all right, give me the, give me the eight incher. All right, a shadowy jest of the ethereal realm, grinning in the darkened folds where laughter intertwines with the unknown. I don't like these descriptions. This is so hard. I feel like I'm reading like a fucking poem. My guy's reading a freaking novel. Okay, a, a shadow though, a ghost type, if you will. So, I mean, obviously that gives me Gengar vibes. Maybe. <clears throat> Did you get choked on water? Yo, are you okay today? You can't read. You can't drink water. It's it's uh, Today's been a lot. I'm going to be honest. I, I only want to quit the day. It's 10 a.m. All right. Shrouded in obsidian mysteries, it emerges from the veiled abyss with crystalline de defiance. God, okay. These are definitely very cryptic, if you will. <sighs> Dude, emerges. Emerges with- I'll emerge from the darkness. Sora! Help! But wait, today's sponsor is a game I've played for almost two years, and now they're celebrating their five-year anniversary. And to celebrate five years, click my link or scan my QR code to get a free epic champion, Lady Atessa, and in-game bonuses worth $50. Plus a promo code for new players to get the epic champion and TRL, 500,000 silver, and other endless rewards. They've been dropping non-stop heaters these years. From their new mythical champions that are insanely cool to their new cursed city, which is the craziest drop since the Doom Tower. So even if you played the game in 2021, the game is completely different now, and they're never stopping adding new things. Join their five-year anniversary month-long party with the Festival of Creation with tournaments, summon boosts, and more. You can find me in the game under 2 United or try out for our clan, the United Legends. So don't waste time and download right today because all you new players, when you also hit level 25, you'll get even more bonuses worth $50. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the fire type in the beginning, but stealth rocks, if it, you know, no, just give me the fire type. Give me the ember one. Yeah, you want the first one you get, do get a Charizard. Is, is it, is it X or Y? It is Y. I would have liked that. That would have been kind of cool. Okay. I'm honestly thinking about leading with Charizard and getting off drought. And we are able to give these megas items to make it a little bit more fun. Um, so I gave him choice specs just to give all off damage because if he does get a mod that has stealth rocks, Charizard really, really gets nerfed because he immediately loses half his health. And especially in a in a battle with Megas that have items, this hinders him greatly. So I'm hoping just to lead off and get a ton of damage with him. But I did tackle on Will-O-Wisp just in case I needed to throw him in there and try to get a burn if he has a lot of physical attackers and try setting up. Let's take a gander at your starters. Thick. My, I'm not really much of a thick guy. I'm more of a petite kind of guy. Okay. You say that as a thick guy. You walk through the room just like hitting everything. Do you think I choose to be this way? I am absolutely jealous. You have mountains for shoulders. I would easily take your 2019 body. <laughs> okay. What are you trying to say about my body now? Like, what are, you, what are you trying to say as a friend? Like, that's that's a little toxic. I mean, you look fine, but you got a dad bug coming on. I mean, it's coming. I'm sorry that I like pizza. Shrouded Titan, bearer of aqueous depths, silent sentinel of the abyssal currents. All right, so abyssal currents, Titan, I'm thinking is Kyogre. Keeper of the ancient marshes, embodiment of the primordial might. Oh, that might be a, I, marshes thinks me, me. Oh, we need to start the video over. <laughs> Dude, I just fucking blue screen. <laughs> All right, give me the third one. Uh, me sing, snatch a Pokemon. Your last one, dumb crying. Shadow cloaked emissary. Herald of the Infernal Whispers, Prowler of the Twilight Realms. Oh yeah, just give me the Kyogre. I'll just take the Kyogre. Well, none of these are Kyogre, so which one do you want? Wait, okay, lab. So okay, Gyarados? you got Blastoise. The Chad GPT has high hopes of Gen 1 starters, apparently. Uh, the middle one was Swampert, and the last one was Houndoom. Okay, that one I didn't care about. But Abyss? Blastoise doesn't live in the Abyss. But yeah, apparently he does. Well, Chad GTP is stupid. Blastoise, I decided not to bring. All right, I'm ready. Me thinks I'm ready to go for it. Yeah, me thinks. You can't do that. <laughs> 
Not when I'm drinking water. In the Arboreal Ballet, this Pokemon swift shadows traverse the canopy as nature's nimble guardian. What? A Pokemon with a questionable fashion sense. Looks like it raided a costume store and couldn't decide between a knight and a magician. A knight and a magician? Yes, two very different things. And your last one, the cotton candy of the Pokemon world. Seems like it's trying way too hard to be majestic, but ends up looking like a fluffy reject. Oh, Altaria. Oh, it's gotta be Altaria. Okay. All right, Dragon Fairy would be not too bad, but I'm really interested in the ballet one. Yeah, give me that one. You got yourself to Sceptile. Ballet? Sceptile is my speedster. Uh, I'm just all out speed. I gave him a choice scarf. Uh, he has a lightning rod, which is an okay ability if he gets an electric type, but if he doesn't, it's kind of useless. Um, but he's a full on speedster just to get in there and get damage off in case he does get mons with Dragon Dance. That way I can still out speed and hit him with stab, uh, Giga Drainer, Dragon Paws, hit him power, fire, and then solar beam I gave him because since I do have drought already with the uh, Charizard, I might have a chance to come in and hit with a stab solar beam, which would do immense damage with choice specs. Uh, your next one. Wow, these are terrible. Thank God. This is the bearer of the celestial radiance, guardian of the fractured dreams. Yeah, I totally know what that is. Behemoth of shadows, harborings of the dusk embrace, guardian of the mountain's secrets. The mountain secrets. What? Okay, your last one. It's like if a pink fluffy pillow sprouted ears and a nurse's hat and started pretending to be a Pokemon. So I'm going to go with the first one. The first one seems the, the best, uh, to be honest. It's a valid choice. The celestial being is none other than Deancey. Yeah, I do love Deancey. That's very nice. The behemoth of the mountains was Tyranitar. That would have been cool. We have Diantha the Diancy with magic bounds, which is, this is nice because even though he's definitely going to have a mon for this instantly, I do get a guaranteed stealth rock up. And if I want to switch, I can. If I, if he doesn't predict this, hey, it's pretty good. I have a focus as just in case. Other than that, Diancy is literally just going to stealth rock and then hit something hard, really. That's it. Round three, I've taken over this channel. Yes. It looks like a failed attempt at turning a psychic Pokemon into a bizarre culinary magician. That makes you think of, like, Alakazam. Spaced out shell dweller. Appears as it missed the memo on evolving properly, resulting in a lethargic, tail-biting creature that embodies the essence of slowness in the Pokemon world. Tail-biting made me think of Slowbro? He isn't the one that bites the tails. He gets bitten. This one looks like an industrial accident fused an onyx with a pile of scrap metal, resulting in a clunky, impractical serpent that leaves every Everyone wondering if Steelix. That's not a good description, Chad GBD. Hey, what was the middle description? It's a spaced out shell dweller. I'm gonna go with that because I think it's slow, bro. It is slow, bro. I definitely think that was the best option. I have all of my trios now. I have fire, grass, and water. Uh, that's terrifying. I know I was popping off about slow, bro, but I decided not to go with him only because his ability is okay. Shell armor. Um, he's really slow and he doesn't have a lot of like special defense. And I think Tobin definitely is gonna cover that. And he can knock him out in one hit if he brings a, a mega with good special attack and choice packs, Slowbro will be outsped and just get one shot. Let's take a gander at your Pokemon, Tobin. You got a Deancey last time. Nice little mythical one. And dear Lord, you cannot miss. I need it. I need it. That fire, grass, water core is a little scary. This is the kind of Pokemon that crashes parties just to show off its glow-in-the-dark scales and picks fights with the balloons. Well, that one sounds cool. Why can't I get cool descriptions like that? Like, that's so vague. This is basically a walking Rubik's Cube with a headache, right? ready to smash anything in its way, trying to remember where it's left its car keys. Oh, uh, okay, S Salamence. He's a walking Rubik's Cube? I don't fucking know, man. What's, what Pokemon's a block? This Pokemon is basically a walking daycare center with a pouch for a womb. Do I need to say more? Parental bond does sound pretty appetizing, but you know what? I like to shoot in the dark. I like to sometimes get some random stuff. Let's go with the first one. You're gonna go with the one that wants to fight balloons. Yeah, cause that's, uh, I'm, I hate balloons. I wanna just fight them all. On free balloon day, you got a mega Rayquaza. Dude, let's go. That makes sense. He's in the sky fighting balloons that are also in the sky because they're destroying the ozone layer. So we're trying to save the ozone layer, Dylan. The other one was Metagross, the walking Rubik cube. Oh, that's pretty cool. We have Myra Kraza, and this, I think it's Delta Stream. So you know what? We're not so weak to ice. A little bit, but not super weak. We have a sweep set just because I definitely need something to just go out and kill. So Sword Dance, E-Speed, that sounds pretty good to me. He's going to bring a Scarfmon. I know it. He always does. I do too. So this 
should be pretty good. All right, let's see what you got here, buddy. Honestly, I'm not really scared, not scared of any of these. This Pokemon resembles a reject from a dinosaur-themed carnival ride with its wings that seem more likely to cause turbulence than graceful flight. A dinosaur that flies. Oh, wait, Aerodactyl! Aerodactyl, I'm so dumb, dude. It looks like it's auditioning for a failed disco party theme rather than a fearsome electric type. Manectric? What, what other electric types have a mecha? Ampharos, Ampharos. Seems like a rejected attempt to create a menacing Pokemon, but ends up looking more like a confused cosplayer who raided the wrong costume chest. I think the dinosaur is the best choice. I mean, I'm, I'm faster than a Rayquaza. I take your E-speeds and I can hit you with rocks on Oko with tough claws. Give me that first dinosaur. Mm, that's a yikes still. Is it a yikes? You got every dinosaur. It's <laughs> right, baby. <laughs> Ah, it was so easy. This was a huge hit for me. He just got Mega Rayquaza. So now I have a Mon with Stealth Rocks. I have a Mon with Rock Slide that will outspend as long as he doesn't Dragon Dance and get, you know, faster than me. And if he E-Speeds, that's fine. You know, I'm a Rock type. I'll be able to take one. Uh, Tough Claws, I don't really get to utilize that much. But just being able to get Rock Slide and Stealth Rocks is amazing for this battle. Let's take a gander at your Pokemon, Tobin. They're all big. This Pokemon is always drooling. Like, it just can't contain its excitement for all the grass is about to munch on. Dude, that was me when I s Bleep all the hate, you weirdo. <laughs> I was joking. Or was I? This Pokemon lumbers around like it's still stuck in the Stone Age, smashing everything in its path with those giant slabs of metal it calls hands. Metal hands? Slobs? On my knob like corn on the cup? <laughs> Check in with me. Andy, good job. This Pokemon scales look like they're made of rejected disco balls, and its mouth is big enough to swallow your hopes and dreams whole. Oh shit! It swallows my dreams. Yo, I I can't I can't do these videos with you anymore. All right, I got either I got a drooler or I got a swallower. I don't know what I'm gonna go with. You know what? Let's go with the Swallower. It sounds good to me. You got a Gyarados. Oh, I love Gyarados. Man, I, th I would assume he would be a biter, not a Swallower, but you know yeah, what? Yeah, it would make sense. He's got them teeth. He got them jaws. The middle one, uh, the metal hand is Agron. And then the drooler was Venusaur. Oh, uh, dude, Venusaur would have been cool too. But you know what? Gyarados is pretty sick. I'm down with that. On Gyarados, I decided to make him a D-Dance set with Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Fang, mainly to be a sweeping mon. Um, the only thing I'm scared about is one. One mon for him, but besides that, Focus Sash, hey, guaranteed D dance. We like that. All right, let's take a look at your four starters. Ooh, ah, you got some fun ones. I like all these, to be honest. This Pokemon looks like an overdesigned mess, sporting wings that look like they were hastily glued on by a preschooler, and a color palette that screams crayon box explosion. It feels like Salamance to me. Like, I feel like his wings could look like kind of just taped on, you know, because they just kind of like sit straight. I love him, but his design when he megas is just. It's not the best. This Pokemon looks like it's having a midlife crisis. It flaunts awkwardly oversized wings and a color scheme that resembles a failed attempt at a camouflage. Oh, a camouflage. This Pokemon has mismatched patches contributing to an overall aesthetic that missed the mark on Q and landed squarely in the realm of unsettling. Give me the winged Pokemon, the first one. You wanna know something so funny about that, Mon? You said it was Salamence. It's not Salamence, but Salamence was right next to it. You instead got a lot. Adios. But wait, wait, which one was the Salamence? The middle description? Yeah, the middle one. I mean, Latios is still really dang good, so I'll, I'll take that. Latios, not much to say about this Pokemon. It's really good, especially bulky, great special attack, um, just really fast levitate if he gets a ground type Mon. I gave him leftovers. Defog in case he does bring rocks, and I need to get rid of those for like Charizard and whatnot. Uh, Draco Meteor for all out damage and serve and recover. He's not really the most insane Mon, but he might be able to let me pivot a little bit, switch in. Even if I need to sack the Latios, that's completely completely okay. But if he does get a Draco Meteor off, uh, as long as Deancey's not on the field, it's gonna hit pretty much everything else and do a crap ton of damage. All right, let's take a look at y'alls. What an interesting round indeed. This Pokemon is like that one friend who always shows up right before something bad happens, but never actually does anything to stop it. Hmm, sounds like Frank, sounds like Frank. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. This Pokemon has a creepy oversized head that looks like it's about to pop and its body's all skinny and weird. It's like it's never seen the inside of a 
a gym. All right, that has to be Alakazam. Man. There's no way it's not. This Pokemon is like a confused airplane that forgot how to fly and decided to become a Pokemon instead. It's got these weird wing-like things as arms to flap around like it's trying to take off, but never actually leaves the ground. Airplane. I mean, I think Gladios, but then, but then it's weird if he doesn't leave the ground. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna go with Frank. I'm gonna add Frank to my team. I want Frank. Woo! The big bobblehead skinny boy was Mewtwo. Uh, you got Frank and that is Absol, so it's not bad. And then Latias was the last one, so I don't know why it said it doesn't leave the ground. Yeah, I will actually take Absol. With its regular ability, he could cause him ruckus. We have Frank the Absol with Magic Bounce again. I did bring two Magic Bounce Mons. I know it's kind of crazy, but honestly, I just think it's going to be really nice in case he does bring hazards or status. Other than that, I did bring Choice Scarf Knockoff because I did notice he does have Pokemon that are weak to physical moves. So I was like, yo, stab knockoff with 150 attack. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's check these Pokemon. Check these starters, these mega starters. Wow, look at these colors. These are so, this is so fun. I got like a whole color palette over here. This Pokemon is the result in a scaly crimson disaster that leaves everyone wondering if it's having an internal bad skin day. An internal bad skin day? That makes no sense. This Pokemon is a weaponized nightmare. Looks like it stumbled into a so kit explosion. Was that even a sentence? What? It literally just, you kind of just stopped and said the word explosion. This Pokemon is suffering from a severe case of aquatic overindulgence. Appears as if someone dumped an entire blue paint can on it. It's gotta be Kyogre. Maybe. You trying to keep that poker face and you took a while. I, I, I want that one. And I think it's Kyogre. Yeah, there was that. There is a primal Kyogre and Groud on here. So dang, I would have rathered him though. Cause like Desolate Land is so sick. Really hoping you would pick Beedrill. Yeah, no, that was the last one on my mind. That's so funny. The one and only, a choice scarfing Kyogre. Primal Kyogre with Primordial Sea, Scald Ice Beam Thunder, and I gave him Thunder Wave too, because uh, so far he doesn't have a ground type yet, which is really nice, because then I can just paralyze any of his Pokemon, which is kind of weird with a choice scarf set, but being able to get that off if he does go into something like Rayquaza and I get to do that, um, it's gonna be really, really well. I, I gotta make sure I utilize this Pokemon, because it, so far it pretty much does most of his team. It hits Thunder on Blastoise. It hits Deancey with Scald, Rayquaza with Ice Beam. I have to take care of this Primal Kyogre. Woo! I mean, you got Mega Rayquaza, so with Delta Stream, so you can get rid of my Primordial Sea. Wow, then you go for Ice Beam and it still does a lot of damage. Listen, I'm trying to give you Copium. Let me give it to you. All right, let's see. This group literally looks like they're dancing. I would love to dance right now. I would love to dance the night away. I know you can't dance. Dude. This is a wannabe ninja that watched too much anime and decided to become a Pokemon. All right, so I mean, ninja, I, I, I would only think of Sceptile or Greninja, and Greninja's not a mega, so Sceptile. This Pokemon is always making this weird clicking noise that sounds like someone's trying to start a lawnmower with a rusty spoon. Basically, this is the kind of Pokemon that gives you nightmares about being chased by killer robots while you sleep. What the heck does that mean, man? What does that even mean? Uh, this Pokemon has weird. Weird floppy ears looking like it's trying too hard to be cute and it's fluffy tail like it has a bad hair day that never ends. All right, so that has to be Lop, honey. I feel like that's the only thing it could be. We're gonna go with the left one, the first one that you said. You got the ninja, which is Lucario. I don't think of him as a ninja. I'm I don't like... think of him as a ninja at all, but. Well, I can see a fighter for sure. We have Korra the Lucario with adaptability. Now this thing is gonna go a little nuts. We get one sword stance up. That's crazy. Another, I know another sword stance spawn, I know. My team's really one note. But we can go for close combat, bullet punch, and then crunch obviously doesn't get boosted by adaptability, but in case of like a ghost type, psychic type, I kind of forget this team to be honest. Uh, I just brought it for diversity. Mainly we're going for close combat, bullet punch for guaranteed damage with adaptability. It's just nice and life orb. I mean, hey, just, you know, do some more damage. All right, starter time. Oh, uh, mm, I'm sensing a theme here. I'm sensing a theme, a slight theme. With questionable taste in facial hair, seems like it got stuck in a fire, fiery bad hair. Day. Facial hair? The only thing I think of, I think like Alakazam has a beard, but I think we've already had, I don't know. It looks like it raided a superhero costume store. Okay, yeah, that is a very short one. Yeah, because like everything else besides it literally says the exact thing that it is. <laughs> this Pokemon looks like awkward spoilers and a permanent scowl that suggests it's not too thrilled about its own existence. A spoiler Pokemon that's not too thrilled about its own existence. Poor guy, I kind of feel bad. I'm gonna pick that one. All right, that is Sharpedo. He should feel bad. He's not the best looking guy, uh, but he's really good with speed boost, so. 
Yeah, but I just got Kyogre. Do I really want that? Ah, uh, still speed boost. Yeah, what else did I have? Yeah, the blaze can camera up. Sorry, Sharpedo. I mean, speed boost is awesome. I would love to have that on the team, but when we just got Kyogre, if I weren't able to give it Choice Scarf, then maybe, but there's no realm where I bring you and bench Kyogre. I'm sorry, dude. All right, Tobin. Let's see what you got, man. They're pretty bad. Man, this has been rough for Tobin, but you know what? We're staying positive. Yes, 2024, I'm a much different man. I'm gonna be married probably when this comes out. Unless she leaves you. It's always an option in life, I guess. Thanks, Dylan. Scratch everything I said. Now I'm gonna be having an anxiety attack. <laughs> okay. This Pokemon got possessed by an evil spirit and decided to haunt your nightmares. It's got this big gaping mouth that looks like it's about to swallow. What is with swallowing your souls and dreams up? It's about to swallow your soul and its eyes are like two orbs of despair staring into the void. I heard that ChatGPT actually takes from your browser source, Dylan. So I don't know what you're browsing over there, but. This Pokemon has got these weird horns on its head. Look, it looks like it belongs to a cartoon bull and its arms are so tiny it's a wonder if it can even hold its own weight. I was at first like the, the bull looking horns I was like oh it could be a Gagron technically because he has horns and it kind of looks like a bull so I don't know. This Pokemon has got big poofy feathers that makes it look like it's trying to hide a bad hair day and it's beady little eyes stare into your soul like it's judging every life choice you've ever made. You know what? I think we gotta go with the Swallower. You got Glalie. Oh dude I love Glalie. Said no one ever. Dude, Glalie's cool. I mean, he's not like amazing, but like he's fun. You missed out on the horn was Heracross. And then what? Why did you say no to the feathers? What did you think it was? I don't know. I was just thinking. I was just thinking bird. And I was like, I don't want a flying type. It is a bird. It was Pidgeot, and it said bad hair day, and that's why I giggled because you used to look like Pidgeot. All right, we don't gotta bring those times up. Glalie, I just decided not to bring just because he's not the craziest mon. Like freeze dry is cool, but like other than that, he, it's either assault vest or choice specs. I feel like he's just gonna get hurt or a lot before he even does anything. So this battle, I decided not to bring him. Last round. Honestly, anything you get's gonna be. Scary. Uh, you have a really good team so far, so. It combines every cliche imaginable. Creating a Pokemon that's more cringeworthy than enchanting. You know, I, I do I do like my uh, casual day of cringe. I, I, got, I got a bunch of content on my channel that's cringing. You wanna go look at it? What's up, guys? My name's Toby. My newest video. What's going on, guys? No, he was not an ASMR channel. He just whispered. Yeah, <laughs> I was embarrassed. This Pokemon has a bizarre fashion sense and a fighting style that leaves much to be desired. Fashion sense and fighting style. I feel like that's got to be a fighting type, right? This Pokemon looks like it was rolled through a static-filled tumble dryer and emerged with a hairstyle that's a shocking combination of misplaced spikes and awkward floof. Okay, that's got to be Manectric. The question is, do I want Manectric? You do not have a single thing to resist it. So that's a pretty solid choice for me. Yeah, give me the Manectrix. I think it's Manectrix. It is one. definitely Manectrix, yes. Yeah, I don't know if I'd rather you have that or the Gardevoir that was there. Because I was like, which one's Gardevoir? The first one. Oh, what was the middle one? The Um, that was a Metacham. Oh, okay. Fighting type, though. I had the I mean the exact same typing I had in mind, but an excellent last hit Pokemon. Intimidate, always really good when he has mons. If he runs physical uh Rayquaza, he's got Gyarados, he's also got Absol. A great mon for there. Volt switch, great for that too. Uh I gave him hidden power ice just to be able to hopefully maybe come in on Rayquaza and deal some damage. We got Flamethrower and then just T-Bolt for regular damage and just tacked on the Life Orb. But this is a great switch up mod that I can just Volt Switch whenever I need to and get Intimidates off on his team. This is your last round, Tobin. This is your last chance to make it big. I mean, you have Mega Deancey, you have, you have Rayquaza. You do have an opportunity to get some pretty interesting typings. I'll say that. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I even want. This is like a clumsy crab that's trying way too hard to be intimidating. Its body is all lumpy and misshapen, like it's been squished under a rock too many times. Weird. Crab? This Pokemon has a body that is all spiky and awkward and covered in a bedazzled armor. Plus, it's always making this grumpy face like it's been, like it stubbed its toe on a rock. Dazzled armor. Why can't I think of that? This Pokemon's got this big dopey grin on its face. Like it's trying to be friendly, but its eyes tell a different story. Like they're two frozen puddles of regret staring into the abyss. Man, I, these are these are just rough. <laughs> yeah, these are these are these are hard. Uh, I guess I'll go with the first one. I don't know, man. You got a pincer. That's really not that bad. Bug flying. I think he gets aerial eight, right? Like that's actually pretty solid. It's actually not bad with his regular ability. There was a ground type for the Manatric, and I'm glad that it happened. The all spiky and bedazzled armor was Garchomp. 
that's not even I don't, bedazzled. I guess they're thinking that spikes are bedazzlers. You know, but we have Bugsy here. And what did you guess, guys? Another sweep mom with swords dance for turn, close combat, and quick attack. Honestly, swords dance for turn just sounds like a good time. I also brought the normal gem because it's gonna either make my return or quick attack the first time I use it just hit insanely hard. So I was like, you know, honestly, let's just do it. I don't know what else to really give him. I would give him heavy duty boots, but it's not in the game. Tobin's team is still pretty scary. He's got a lot of setup mods with like Mega Gyarados and Rayquaza, Swords Dance, Absol, Sucker Punch. Uh, I don't think he brings Blastoise with Mega Launcher because it doesn't really do a lot with my team. I think he brings Gyarados instead. And then maybe he benches Pinsir because he's worried about Stealth Rocks or Rock type from Aerodactyl and Aerial Late isn't really going to help him. I got no fighting types on my team. So I think he benches those two, but I, I don't know. Uh, I just got to keep my Kyogre alive. And that's it. You know what, Tobin? You got a good team. Good luck. Thanks, man. I'm going to really try to think about this one. You got this. I believe in you. I don't. I never did. Ever since my dad. I started like regretting not bringing Slowbro. I'm like, dude, a physical wall would be uh, good, right? That now, would be but. good, yeah, but you have Nikki Charizard. Hello. All right, Diantha. we got Nikki on the lead. You go out to Diantha. Okay. Yep, because I know you wanted to go to this so you didn't get hurt by rocks. That was a smart, smart lead <laughs> yeah, for you. Because I know, I was like, honestly, I just leave this no matter what, because either I get rocks off or I can just attack you, which is kind of sick. True. Mm, that's pretty cool. We're going to see how much this does. It doesn't Yo, matter how invested. much it does. No, I'm sad. Oh, you're, oh my <laughs> God, dude. Are you kidding me? I did. I was prepared. I was like, I'm getting these rocks off no matter what. And that honestly, Diancy's probably, oh, that's all it's going to do, most likely. So That's crazy when you have this thing and that is all that it's here to do. I mean, oh, I thought it missed for some reason. My, cause the thing with it is it lost all its defenses. So it's really like, I'd rather just use a different mon. Uh, but, uh, you know, rocks are up. That's cool. Yeah, rocks are up. That does hurt my, my team. Pretty drastically, actually. Now I need to choose what to do against a solar beaming Charizard. You know, let's do it. I'm bringing it in. Misty! Wow! Mold breaker. Breaks the mold. Breaks the mold. Oh, that's why you were mad, because you wanted to intimidate. You're really just going to sit here and try to take a solar beam? I take it. I take it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I imagine maybe you're Soul Vested, but then you're not. Yeah, we take it. We take it. We take it. Because I'm also Sash! <laughs> oh my god! You're such a are you I, kidding yeah, me? I, I was like, I want to get one up. I want to get a D-Dance up, so I'll just bring two sashes. Oh he said two God. items. He said two items. I did so I say, like, you know, two <laughs> items are allowed. Yeah. I, I, but who picked sash? I thought it'd be funny. Hey, that really sucked. This is, is this right, even going to kill? It's in the sun. It, it's neutral. Oh, let's go. It does still kill. Let's okay, go. Okay, all right. I'm happy you got your sashed mon. I guess I just go to this because I'm pretty sure I'll speed. Yeah, you just go for that. That's easy move. That's yeah, easy. It's just you in case you did switch, yeah. you don't have your fair anymore. It's just, it's a free hit. Yeah, it's pretty free. It's pretty free. My thing is my speed tiers are just freaking garbage, dude. That is a dagger. It's time for Korra. You go out to Korra. Oh, yeah. Ocario. Yeah, I feel like I just do this. Yeah, you do switch. You do switch, yeah. Because I was like, okay, that tells me your specs. So I feel like you would go for a move. Oh, you're going to my neck trick. I go in my neck trick because I feel like you're going to maybe power up punch. And I'm just going to get intimidate off. I was actually going to sword stance instead. <laughs> oh, so pretty much the Favorite. same kind of idea. Yeah. So now I know you're not Scarf, which means I guarantee I'll speed unless you E-speed, but E-speed's not going to kill me. Oh, you go for the flamethrower. I was going to go to... I was going to switch into Rayquaza. Oh, man. Oh, That's go. so annoying. I didn't think you'd just go for the straight up. Your plane just like so f***ing safe right now. That's, I mean, how is that really safe? You don't have... You lost your Deancey. You lost your water type. I know, but I have a resist for that. I still have a dragon in the background. Yeah, but then I just outspeed Volt Switch. I have Delta Stream. Oh, that is true. You do have the... All right. Fine, I'll finally go into Emerald. Jesus Christ. The Delta Stream is definitely a problem. And you do full switch, but it's weakened. <laughs> so it's going to be resisted. Yeah, see, that's why I was like, oh, it still is a decent amount, but this might be such a misplay. Septile. Bink. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I went for Earthquake. Oh my God! I'll take that damage all day. Your life orb, Rayquaza. And E speed. Yeah, E speed. Yep. <laughs> I have no ghost type. I have no steel type. I have a rock type to switch in, but like, so what? All right, Rayquaza. You at least get some kills. Get some kills for me, please. I need it. I think I just go. Yeah. I think it's just the safest play. We go on to Dino Plane. Dino Plane. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This guy just, he, he's just insane. He's just insane. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I do this then. Yeah, you, you pretty much hit one button. I'm just going for the damage. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. I almost stealth rocked there, and I could have done it.
it, actually. I would have taken... Yeah. Oh! He missed! You've got to be kidding me, dude. Honestly, I shouldn't have done that anyway. You have Delta Stream. That was a horrible Yeah, I kind of forgot about the Delta Stream, yeah. <laughs> I totally I'm forgot about that. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Think about that. I should have just sword dance first turn. That would have been crazy. All right. I also was just preparing for you to switch into the other guy. Yeah, no. I was like, yeah. I was like, he's gonna, I was going to get hit no matter what. So I was just going for the attack. Okay, this thing is kind of a menace because you could sword dance. And you could knock Bink. off. You can sucker punch. Uh, he could do everything. He's really fast, Dylan. He's almost faster than Rayquaza. <laughs> Spike. Oh, this thing actually might do some insane damage to me. Yeah. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. I'm what? dead. I don't think. <gasps> On oh, four! Let's go, Spike! Jesus! But he lives! Frick me, dude! This sucks. Okay, I don't know the right play. I don't know the right play. I don't know the right play. Oh, this thing, scarfing, is uh, a. Big deal. A big, big deal. No, it's really not. No, 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 it is. It is. I forgot because you, you can't, you're not holding the orb. Because I was going to say, if you're megas, you can't knock off their orb, like stuff like that. I, I forgot. Yeah, you're not even holding that. Knock off, please. Half. Okay, good, good, good. About that. And you're scarfed. Yes, yeah. I, that's what I wanted. I literally, I am not joking. I scarfed him specifically for the Kyogre. So I can for sure make sure you're not scarfed. And I go into Pinsir. Woo. Return. Aerial late return. It does kill. Let's go. Oh, oh my, my God. I, dude, I didn't damage calculus, but I was like, this should, in the range, it should kill. Okay. I got to see something for a second. So I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Or I'm right about this. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. You I, I yep. wanted to make sure that he couldn't get intimidated off first before he died. Yeah, like, that's... he came in, he looked at him. All Delta. right. Oh, boy. I might have made an oopsie. I thought this would work. It did not. <laughs> Wait, now I'm so confused. <laughs> All right. So, oh, my God. You missed a second attack. I did not just lose a battle like that!